Hello and welcome to OPPRacing.com's video on the carbon fiber manufacturing process direct from the carbon design team. Hi, my name is Patrick. I'm from OPP Racing. We're the exclusive distributor for CDT carbon parts. We're here in Europe at the CDT factory. So the material has to be stored in a cool room of minus 18 degrees Celsius and we're going to show you what it looks like. So here you can see where the material is stored. It has to be in a, in a cold place. Here's uh, some carbon in the blue, and this is carbon Kevlar. And we're going to show you here. I'm going to close the door real quick here because it is cold. You're going to see that uh, there's uh, these actually two particular samples are uh, one is 430 gram carbon. You can see it, and what it is, it's the carbon is pre-pregnated with the resin so this is what it looks like and then this is a 200 gram carbon so this is used for the aesthetic part of the of the carbon piece and this is used in the uh, re reinforcement part here at the factory at the CDT factory we're at the cutting room this is a very special machine this is this is a, uh, a fully uh, digital uh, cutter uh, custom made to CDT spec. This CNC cutting machine is fully supported by a uh, digital touch screen and we're going to show you in the next step how this uh, should also mention that the, uh, the material is held on by vacuum so when the cutting machine is in operation the, the carbon doesn't move and it, Again, it's all touch screen. Here, we're going to show you how the plotter works. So here I'm going to remove the parts that have been uh, just cut by the CNC cutter and you can see that it's like a little puzzle. They come right out.
without the car, this would be uh, impossible. I mean, it, 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 it is done man manually, but it takes a lot of time. So this is the finished product of the CNC cutting machine. The machine uh, cuts every part has a specific shape. Uh, there's three layers uh, in a part. One is the decorative part, then it's the supporting uh, part or layer, and then is the reinforcing layer. Here we're going to show you the laminating process of a very simple part. The more complex parts take up to several hours. This scale is usually done by women. They're a lot more patient and this does take years of practice to really make a perfect product. So that was the decorative layer, which is uh, usually 200 grams. And uh, now this is the supporting layer, uh, 390 to 430 grams. Now this may, may look easy, but uh, I guarantee you that this takes months and months of work to really get this done. Now there will be a third layer, which is the reinforcing layer, and again, this is uh, with 390 to 430 grams. Each piece plays plays a uh, a role. It's like a it's like a puzzle in making this part. In the more complex pieces,
So this particular part only needed uh, two layers, and you can see that there was an extra uh, reinforcing that was done, uh, I guess that was for the mounting location. And now there's an edge that is applied for extra strength of the product. Part number is applied, and also the country of origin is applied as well. In part, each part has a specific part number. Now the worker is applying a release foil. I should also mention that uh, all the molds are made out of carbon fiber with epoxy resin. Um, they're very, very tough molds. You have to have a tough mold uh, in order to survive the pressure and the heat in the autoclave. Um, <coughs> So now the worker will be applying a breathing layer before it goes into the vacuum bag. And this prevents the part uh, from sticking, uh, the, the plastic part sticking to the vacuum bag. This is the next step. We're going to show you the part being put in the vacuum bag. The, the, these are special va vacuum bags which can sustain up to 300 degrees Celsius. That's a high temperature glue that uh, seals the bag and now the vacuum hose will be attached and the, the air will be sucked out of the part which will be ready for the autoclave process.
This is a small autoclave used for small parts. This is where the parts are uh, baked or cooked under pressure. And we're going to show you um, actual the parts coming out. So the worker is going to stop the cycle. Here you can see the parts in, uh, in, in their individual vacuum bags right out of the oven. As I said, this is where the smaller parts are produced in this autoclave. And here is a much larger autoclave which is custom built to CDT specifications, electronically controlled. And this is where the large parts are made. So here you can see the parts just came out of the oven. They're still very, very hot. So what they have to do is remove the bag in the process. So the bag, the vacuum bag is removed. The felt looking material, this is the uh, breathing layer. And underneath the breathing layer is the release layer. And uh, this uh, prevents uh, the uh, carbon from sticking to the bag. So after the uh, parts are pulled from the autoclave, they're unwrapped. Uh, they have to go on a cooling rack. And once uh, they're cooled, they're going to be pulled from their mold. So we're going to show you that as well. So this is a, a little bit of a tricky process. But skill wins every time. So here we just pulled the uh, part out of the mold and uh, as you can see, you can zoom in, it is really a, a perfect product and the most important thing is that you have to have a perfect mold to have a perfect product. It's air, flawless, no bubbles, um, I'm not sure if you can see it but uh, most important thing. Perfect mold, perfect okay, product. So here we're in one of the uh, many rooms uh, where the workers trim the parts after the part comes out of the autoclave. Um, and basically parts are trimmed and all the excess carbon is trimmed and sanded before it goes okay, in. So here the we're in the uh, polishing room. This is where the parts come uh, after uh, they're trimmed. Either they're going to be sent out as polished parts or clear coated. So after the clear coating, this is the, the step where the imperfections are removed. Here we're, we're in one of the storage rooms where the molds are stored. Here we're in the final stages of quality control where the parts are inspected for the last time before they're shipped to OPP Racing and then we deliver them to your door.